seeing systems for what they are. They are really the key for more vacations, more freedom, and to enjoy business in a new dimension. You know, I'm very excited to hear because you're about to embark on an incredible journey. The journey from systemizing and getting freedom in your business. Henry Ford was perhaps the master of systems in his business. And the more you get into I systemize, the more that your mind shift will start to change. You'll find that you'll look at business in a very different out of the box way. And that's an exciting way to look at business. That's a lot more exciting than thinking how we're gonna survive the next quarter. Because that doesn't inspire anybody. But when you look at business in an I systemize way, you look at it in a very entrepreneurial, out of the box way. Now there are more than one benefit to having systems. Yes, you can go on holiday. You're also gonna reduce the amount of mistakes that take place in your business. Plus you can speed up production, therefore selling more. And he understood that. So you need to take an aerial bird's eye view of your business and adopt that mind of Henry Ford. And that is the key point I want you to think about. I want you to value your time. Because if you don't value your time, then nobody else will. What are all of the things that they do in their daily life? And how do we break those down into short bite videos that relate to that role? Because in most cases, people don't have a business at all. They, in fact, have a job. And if you have to be there day in, day out, then you really don't have a business and a commercial profitable enterprise that works without you. But Henry Ford understood the power of systems and what it meant to him and his business if he could master the art of systematizing or processing car yard production. Then think about how much value that adds to an investor who's coming in, looking to buy a business, and you can look at, show them the system and say, these are the systems that run the business without me. That is worth a lot more to an investor. We've broken your business down into colors, okay? Because that's gonna help your reticular activating system bring the, bring the unconscious information to the conscious mind and actually make it more relevant to you and be able to understand it a lot easier. Have excellence in this and you make that commitment then you'll get the work done no matter what. But the thing is, most business owners don't know what they should be doing. They're just spending all this time doing the work and they don't know what they're doing is actually intelligent. But now you know. And you know, if you actually put this stuff down on video and structure it, it doesn't matter who fills this role. It becomes bigger than the person. It's about the role. You know, so that if, it wasn't, if, if Tim's in there now and Tim leaves and Bob starts, Bob can just watch all of these videos here and know exactly how to meet with you as the owner and complete this. Remember the game Lemmings where they used to just follow each other? You don't want to be a lemming in business. You want to step out of your comfort zone and have the courage to do something different. Because if you role play and capture on video how to find the needs of the client, well then everybody can just emulate that time and time again. Because if you're just busy doing stuff, that's not intelligent. So you need to know the results that you want and then become very results orientated. And so as we get towards the end of this module, we're gonna set some goals so you know what you want and you know, most importantly, why you want it. You've gotta take what I said and think about your business. See, in my experience, most, most of my clients that I've ever met think about their business as one whole entity. Through this process, I want you to be breaking the business down into almost five mini businesses within your business and looking at them as an individual identity and not one big one. show you a sales video. Remember sales is red. So this is a sales video to give you a point of reference of what it could look like. The to this is, if, if that person knows their job so well, then the business is almost dependent upon that person. And that's the bit we're trying to get away from. Because that person kind of holds you to ransom within the business, because if they leave, they're in trouble. What we're trying to do by going through this entire process is systemizing it so that it's not about the person, it's about the role because freedom should be paramount in your business. Yes, we want more money. Yes, we want to be our own boss, but ultimately, you should be having more freedom. If you want something said, you want it said on a consistent basis. You don't want somebody having a good day and delivering a script well, and having a bad day and delivering a script poorly. You know, McDonald's is a classic example. When you walk into a McDonald's, it doesn't matter whether it's Australia, America, or in the Asian regions, it's the same script said in the same way and delivered consistently the same way every single time. So whenever you have like client contact, 
you want to script that process so that it is consistently done the way you want it, not sometimes done good and sometimes done poorly.